Good evening, Columbus family, and welcome. This is Mr. O'Brien. I was a graduate of the class of 1972, and I survived Columbus High School when there was no air conditioning on campus. I've been a Maris educator in the classroom for 40 years. I was a cross-country coach for 20 seasons and a track and field coach for 10. I have other interests besides teaching history. Uh, I'm an avid kayaker and in 2000 I formed a club known as the Castaways Against Cancer and once a year our club paddled from Virginia Beach, Virginia Key to Key West to raise funds for cancer research. 20 years later we have raised over 1.2 million dollars for cancer research. Very proud of that and very proud of Columbus High School who has been our sponsor every step of the way. Well let's get into World War II a little bit. Well, what makes World War II so special? Well, you know, a lot of people take a World War II class and they think it's just about generals and battles and stuff like that, but actually this class goes a little deeper. It is a semester class. It is an elective for juniors and seniors, college prep. My background is in social studies, education, anthropology, and sociology, but I've studied World War II ever since I was a young man. And so our lectures are designed so you can understand the consequences of World War II, to trace how World War II has even influenced America today in our foreign policy. We, we like to use a lot of first-person accounts and histo historical documents, research and discussions. We have learned a lot about geography in this class. And a lot of guys have told me that even though the reading at times seemed to be a little intense, that they have come back and said that absolutely, positively, World War II was one of their favorite electives in the Social Studies Department. Well, let's talk about how we actually run the class. Well, the class is based upon lecture, research, reading, discussion, and self-discovery. And I have found two wonderful books, one by Stephen Ambrose, who was the founder of the World War II National Museum in New Orleans, an electronic book available through Apple, a free book by Vern Cleary. This is one of the easiest user-friendly books I've ever, ever had. And we try to have an examination about once every seven or eight lectures, a quiz once a week on a chapter of the readings of the book. And I'm very, very understanding of the situation we find ourselves in. So at any time your son falls behind because of the crisis we face or has having difficulties, it is not a problem for me to work with you and keep the grade book open. And my number one interest is your son's safety and the fact that your son becomes successful. So let's go on a little bit more. Okay. My educational philosophy is that I want you to love history as much as I do. I consider it a sacred trust to teach your son, and I will do my absolute best to make him a better man and to make him successful. So if any time you feel like you need to talk to me, please reach out, and I'll return all emails or phone calls within 24 hours. I pride myself on that. And if at any time you find yourself wanting to talk to me about something that's more than just academic concerning your son, we have a fantastic guidance department but I will be more than happy to help you in any way I can because I've been an explorer and I continue to be an explorer and your son is an explorer too. We have a fantastic team here and we are built for success. So thank you so much for watching my little video and I hope that in the future we can return to the classroom. I'll be able to meet you face to face. So until that great day comes, Adelante, and thank you for watching. Good night.